controversial but interesting combo, which was performed bad, but is interesting to make out. Hello, you're on Penstock, channel about pen spinning, and today I will break down this combo, which was made in one of the games on Spinball. I will show you how to link some tricks in this combo so you could repeat it. This particular game was one star, so it is for beginners. It has already been closed, the winner is claimed, but you can still check it out by clicking the link in the description under this video on YouTube or just in this video. I will show you some mistakes which were made in this combo and in this game so you could try to avoid them in future. And also I will show you how to fix these mistakes. So, Cargo starts the game with Shadow 1223, which is already not correct. As for one star game, this trick is not allowed. According to current rules, on which you guys don't pay attention, unfortunately. Though, if you would, it would make everyone's time on Spinball more enjoyable, I think. Alright, if you don't want to post only basic tricks in one star games, at least leave zero star games for beginners only. Zero star games only for fundamentals and very basic tricks. And if you make a game, make sure you put at least one star on it. Two stars would be preferable, as there are much more intermediate pen spinners on Spinball than actually beginners. It also will give you two points instead of one if you post in the game with two stars. Ok, so Karga starts with Shadow and Paradox adds Twisted Sonic Bust, which is also not for one star games. To make this linkage, you'd better take your mod closer to one of its caps with the bigger part looking away from you and make shadow to 2-3. Focus on landing your mod in 2-3, also closer to one of caps with the bigger part away from you again. As it lands in 2-3, use residual inertia from shadow to begin twisted sonic. So when your mod is changing slots down ring finger a bit and as mod touches ring finger, auth would do it, raise the finger to initiate twisted sonic. Karga continues adding thumb around. As you can see, he makes linkage too sloppy, very close to foul. The biggest pause is between Shadow and Twisted Sonic, little less between Bust and Thumb Around. That's a common link, very handy. As after Bust, Pen Mod is in a good position for doing Thumb Around with push of your index. So it would be correct to write it down TA T1. Just don't write Thumb Around, shorten it to TA. By the way, this trick TA doesn't leave you a lot of ways to continue a combo. After it, you can do thumb around reverse or fingerless thumb around reverse. Germer, 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 Germer 06 suggests to make new Sonic reverse, and it is also a good way to continue. You can do it in T1, T2, T3, which is going to be tricky. More skilled guys on 2 and 3 star games may do double thumb around or palm spin as well. So new Sonic reverse, not a bad choice, yes. But the next time also mark slots. And the way he makes this video is for zero star games, that's also a foul. You can make sloppy combo, but it still needs to be a combo. Not a trick after a trick thing. You should get a little bit more skilled. Practice on lower star games first, otherwise later your turns would be deleted. So here are two tips for making this link smooth. The first one, catch mod in T1 after thumb around, not in thumb flap. Focus on this movement so your mod touches index as close to its center as it is possible. Practice this catch first before you go further. The second, prepare middle in advance so when pen turns over thumb, when it touches index, middle should already be raised to not to interfere mod's movement over index. Ok, fifth turn, ninja spin spinner, 
makes predictable Twisted Sonic. This execution is fine, even though I hate to see Zhigao in his hands. For a better readability, you can start all the words with capitals and also shorten reverse to just REV. To make this link, just give your mod enough inertia while doing new Sonic reverse. Germer, Germer, how to read it? And again, this is not acceptable. Please go to Zero Star Games, because this is fail. Especially when you add your trick after a big pause. It looks like a bunch of separate tricks right now. Also, you need to write slots, guys, and palm position so we could easily read the combo by breakdown. And also, it is not quite double charge, it is more like Twisted Sonic to Twisted Sonic Reverse to Twisted Sonic. To be able to perform this linkage better, you should change your wrist position from palm side to palm down right after mod gets to 2-3. So it would move pretty much in the same direction, even though you have changed tricks from going from reverse to normal. Because basically it is what you do, double charge is a linkage between Twisted Sonic and Warped Sonic. So you do Twisted Sonic after Twisted Sonic Reverse. Look closely and change position. I have a separate video about how to do it nicely. If you feel you don't get it, watch the tutorial. That's a very good hint to change the direction of pen's movement. Cargo. As you see, there is a point to keep up with the same games in which you have already taken part before. As a combo in which you have already taken part is easier to perform than the completely new one to you. Very sloppy exec. The first three tricks are connected terribly. And as you can see, there is this gap in the previous linkage. That's because Karga doesn't change wrist's position and makes this movement palm up. Ok, we move on, because this linkage is not difficult at all, and here we see this guy with the self mod made out of two scalpels on a barrel. This is what you're gonna have if you make self mods and try to progress in pen spinning with them. Exec is fine though, but too bad most of the combo is out of frame. For this matter, I use selfie stick to film turns for spinball. Not always. Sometimes I want to make turns somewhere where I don't have it or feel lazy to go and pick it up. This helpful thing for any pen spinner. It really helps to film good combos. As I can see, there is thumb around T1 instead of fingerless thumb around as ASTFGHJKL claims. Ok, guys do this trick with palm up. It would be easy to do FLTA after Sonic with palm down, but you can do this link palm up as well, though it would look less smooth. Skilled pen spinners could do it nicely, but in untrained hands it would look crappy. In general, I think ch to change direction of pen's movement in such barbarian ways as are shown in this game ruins flow. Anyway, what we do is Sonic 2312 landing a pen with its cap in thumb flap. After that, begin to move your hand for FLTA at the same time releasing mode from 1 2. Idolo makes his turn. Exec suffers a bit, actually, a lot at this moment between Twisted Sonic Bust and Thumb Around. It is a foul. The rest of the combo is sloppy, but it is ok. ELO as FLTA Reverse, which makes this mini combo, Sonic 2312 FLTA, FLTA Reverse, look somewhat interesting. This fingerless Thumb Around makes sense when you change the direction of pen's movement with each trick, why not? And finally, we are at the last turn which wins the game, the guy with the scalpel mod. This exec sucks ass. Both thumb rounds are obviously not fingerless, though the first one he added by himself and ending is completely ruined. He just fails to catch mod after reversed thumb round, stops, then just makes twisted sonic bust, coming out of nowhere. Despite of changing direction again, this time it is too much. When it was about previous mini combo FLTA made it look interesting, but the twisted sonic bust this time it just doesn't work in this combo, that's why this guy won the game, because it is not that easy to make it smooth. And if you add the trick, 
at least at your linkage. At your turn, you have no right to make it sloppy, because it is you who add this trick. And if you can't do it properly, why do you think others can? In future, guys, which has already come by the time I release this video, <laughs> such turns will be deleted and spinballers will lose points for violating the rules. Don't get me wrong, though, I'm not mad, not even angry, I don't blame this guy. We are all learning and discovering on early days of spinball. I just want you to pay attention on what I suggest. And the game would be much fun for all of us if we all stick to rules. Rules build civilizations. If you can't play one star games without pauses, play zero star. They are for beginners. Rules there are much less strict than in the games with stars. Though you know what? You can make this combo look better. You can connect FLT reverse with twisted song Bust. It could be interesting if you spend some time on this linkage and I regret missing this game and not taking part in it. Just lost it from my sight when it was still going and found it out when it was already closed. Look, when you do FLT reverse, you catch your mod into 3 at this position, palm side, at its center, maybe a little bit closer to a cap from your side. Then you make twisted sonic and when pen changes slots, you turn your hand palm down to do bust. It would look nice. I like this game, it was fun to follow and I appreciate all the participants and of course congratulations to this guy. Change your nickname, man, I know. This combo was torture, but you know what? You're gonna get better and better. Playing tacons would be easier and you would move on to higher level and bring more challenge to each of us. These linkages made by this guy were made terribly, but they could be smooth and if you learn them, they would diversify your spin. If you liked this video and want to see me breaking down other games, let me know about that. Of course, subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed yet, join us on spinball.com, share this video, let others know about our little underground world of pen spinning. My name is Alex Suhov, may the style be with you. Bye!